I know it may be August, but I know you're excited for autumn. Hello and welcome back to Life of Soph. I am Soph and I do shopping videos, travel videos, theme park videos and more. Recently I've seen a lot of people talking about how excited they are for Halloween or for autumn in general. So what I thought I'd do is have a look online and see if we can find any nice autumn homeware items. So keep watching to see what they've got. I feel like this angle never gets any more attractive, so sorry about that. Hopefully I don't look too bad squashed into the corner of your screen. So as you can see, we're on the TK Maxx website. They are advertising a summer clearance, and that is uh, very tempting, but um, we're going to have a look for autumn homeware. So let's see what comes up. So I suppose to start with, you can see, I don't know what this dinosaur models thing is, but we've obviously got stuff that's in kind of autumnal colours. We've got this cute cushion, which is £20. It's a rectangular one. It's got mushrooms and leaves and stuff on it. I quite like that, to be honest. I think it's quite cute. So that's it in terms of the search, but I'm sure that I recently... Oh, look, Halloween. There we go. <laughs> I did have a quick sneaky look beforehand just to check that they did have some stuff in stock and they did. They had quite a lot actually. So let's see what's under the Halloween section. <laughs> it's so themed. Right, so I quite like this. This is kind of like old fashioned -y. It's pretty cool. So we've got then a doormat here, a cushion. That cushion's a bit interesting. I think I prefer this doormat to be honest. I'm not so sure about the blue on the other one. That skeleton's a bit creepy, isn't it? I get that they're kind of, well, it says floral, and I can see that they've sort of tried to make it floral, but it's just a bit, a bit much. Oh my gosh, that trick or treat doormat, that is so cute. And that palm one reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney. I just love this picture, to be honest. I know they're advertising the rug, which looks like it's a witch's hat and it's got Halloween written there. But to be honest, I just like that whole setup, albeit it is very out there. <laughs> God, there's so many doormats, aren't there? Oh, candles. Now that is a bit of me. Has that got a little owl on the top? It has. Huh. And it's sandalwood musk Halloween scented. I don't know what Halloween scent smells like. Leave me a comment if you do and I'm just missing out. <laughs> snow globes? I didn't know snow globes were a thing. Oh, that throw is quite sweet. The thing is, I would love to buy something like that, but obviously you can only use it once a year. I mean, even if I got it out in August, like it is right now, it would still only last you, like, what, two and a half months before you're then onto the Christmas stuff? So I love the idea of decorating for autumn, Halloween, Christmas, Easter, but to be honest, I don't have the patience to replace it every season, basically. Oh, I like this Day of the Dead cushion. That's cute. Oh, actually, that's really sweet as well. The beige Halloween pumpkin cushion. Let's just open that up. I mean, they've spelt beige wrong, so <laughs> that's not a very good start. But they looked a bit like um, they might be... Oh, look, it's actually, like, knitted on. It's kind of... I don't know if crochet is the right word. But that's cool. I wasn't sure if it was going to be, like, not 3D, if that makes sense. But I like that. That's cute for £20. That seems quite big as well. 71 centimetres. It's, like, half my height. Like, genuinely nearly half my height. <laughs> Tell me that that doormat does not light up. Surely that doesn't light up. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't say that it lights up. Those skeletons remind me of the Skelegro in Harry Potter. Oh, look. Mouse in a pumpkin. Cute. Pet bandanas. Cat. I'm guessing that's supposed to be wands, not wants. <laughs> So cute. Oh, I love that pumpkin gnome jar. Although, yes, I like this one even better. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, the velvet pumpkin's cute as well. Although, like, do you just put them on your mantelpiece? Five pack multicolor Halloween cat toys, cute. Oh, the gray one's nice. Oh, that's, oh, that's so tempting, but no. Saving up for Disney World holiday next year. Must not buy stuff unnecessarily. I love that. I'm just a sucker for a pumpkin, let's just face the facts, because I love that. Although I do also love these... I love, I love the apples, but I don't understand that they're salt and pepper shakers. That seems a bit weird to me. <laughs> of course, it's one of those guys. I can't remember what they're called. Leave me a comment and remind me if you can remember what they're called. Is it like a gronk or something, maybe? 
don't know. Oh, that's sweet. It's just this style. They've got them in loads of different colours, haven't they? I absolutely love them. 16 by 21, so that's, that's quite reasonably sized, I think. <laughs> Black Boo Halloween Pumpkin Lamp. I, want, I don't know if you can see, it's got like, it looks like little cutout bits of bats and stuff. So, so it must kind of display those on the wall when you light it up from the inside. That's pretty cool. There's so much here. I'm sure they've added more since I last looked. Oh my gosh, pumpkin cheesecake Halloween candle. Oh yes, right up my street. Oh look, they've got an orange version of that pumpkin as well. They're £9 each and they've got, what, like six different colours? So that would cost me over £50 if I bought every colour. Definitely not up for that. Oh look, it's a candy corn dog toy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and a gnome. Look, 314 products, did you see that? We're gonna be here for a while. Again, I know this is advertising that little rug, but I love this setup. Like, they've gone all out. Well done, TK Maxx. I bet that wine stopper's gonna have a lot of purchases. Oh, I like those tea towels with kind of proper pumpkins, not necessarily like, you know, made to look all pretty. Well, that's sweet as well, that white pumpkin. I love that they've even got a dog bowl <laughs> that's Halloween themed. As I say, I did look previously and there did seem to be a lot of autumn stuff on TK Maxx, but what it seems that they've done is just shoved it all in with the Halloween stuff. So I've just gone on to decorative accessories and I've sorted by the newest and there is some Halloween stuff on there, albeit some stuff that we've already seen. Um, so we've got the gnome and the be my beloved pumpkin. That's a bit scary. <laughs> That's a bit different. I wonder what material it's made out of. It looks almost sandpapery. Oh, it's sequins. Let's look. Oh my goodness, look at those. It kind of reminds me of, do you remember those hammer beads that you used to put on the, the white thing and then you'd iron it so it'd all melt? It sort of reminds me of those. Wow, how intricate. 9.99. Ghost pom-pom garland. Oh look, they got loads. This is obviously for people's Halloween parties. Oh, look. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree, but they're trying to make it autumnal. Love it. I wonder how big that is. 13 pounds, it must just be like desktop. 38 centimeters, yeah. So that's just gonna be suitable for a desk, but let's have a look while we're here. Yeah, you can see it's definitely kind of acorn styly. It's cute. It just looks like it's trying to be Christmassy. It's my only concern because it's gold. No riding a broomstick. I mean, look how long that hat is. <laughs> TK Maxx, you definitely got some odd stuff in here. Oh, I like that little trinket box, that's cute. That seems like it's everything on TK Maxx. So I've now come onto the, the range website and if you look, they've actually got a section for Halloween. Um, there's nothing autumn, so I guess they've probably done the same thing and just grouped it all together. So let's have a look. Now there we go, straight away, home decorations. That is what we want. Tips for a spooktacular home. Ooh, Ooh autumnal connection. There we go, that's what we're after. So they did just shove it in with Halloween. Why do all these websites keep advertising sales? It's gonna kill my purse. Here we go, so we've got 39 products at the moment. What is, it's a gonk. I knew it was something like that. Oh, I like those string lights, let's have a look at those. They make them look so small. I wonder if they really are that small. Because they look cute, but if they are that tiny, then I'm not really sure what the point is. It doesn't say. 20 LEDs. They can be hung on walls, doors, and added into centerpieces and more. They must be quite small then if they're envisaging people putting them in vases and stuff. And they're battery powered, so that's useful to know. So you can put them pretty much anywhere, I would guess. Autumn paper pad. Let's look at that. They look like lovely patterns. Okay, printed with a variety of cute autumn inspired designs. Oh, they are cute. I like this one, the multicolored pumpkins, that's cute. And actually the one above it as well, with a bit of a cartoony feel to it. They're lovely. So you get 24 sheets that are 12 by 12 inches and there's 12 different designs. Is that all of them? Yeah. So you, I mean, that's a bit of a cop out because it's just orange. <laughs> and that, even that one that's just stripey. But that's really cute, £4.49, that's really decent. So if you do scrapbooking or something, or if you have to cover up your books for school or whatever, they might be a good option. 
Although I suppose if you're covering up your books for school, that would quickly go out of season. <laughs> oh, some lovely stickers. Look, they're all like brown leaves. They're lovely. If you've seen my travel essentials video, then you'll know that I advise decorating your suitcase when you go away. So if you are going to do something like that so that nobody else picks up your suitcase thinking that it's theirs, then something like these stickers would be great to stick on, depending on obviously the adhesive to make sure that they're strong enough not to to come off during travel but the ribbon is really cute as well and similarly in that video I said about putting I put ribbon on my suitcase handle so that I can identify my own suitcase these are kind of unusual if you fancied that fat quarters I mean I've got to find out what they are multitude of uses raw edges with cutting what is it I mean I think this is just all the different patterns oh i love that what is it fat quarters is a must-have for seasonal crafts projects ah creating cute patchwork designs quilting adding to scrapbooks and more they are very cute i'll give them that oh and then we're on to the wreaths so are they all pre -lit? no these two are pre-lit it doesn't say if the other although they're more expensive so they probably are they're all so cute aren't they i don't have the facility to hang a wreath on my front door and i probably could but also, I've got windows on my front door and it's dark enough in my hallway as it is, so I probably won't be getting a wreath, but how sweet are these? Just love the autumnal colours, they're so gorgeous. I've got one with a bell on if you wanted that. And you can either have pumpkins or flowers by the looks of it. Oh, I've got another page. Got some more wreaths, a nice garland. Oh, candle holder, that's cute. I would be so scared it would catch on fire, but that is really sweet. Sequin scatters, I'm guessing that's if you're decorating your table or something wreath accessories so i guess you can make your own and then probably the same with these ah very cute i'm starting to feel a bit autumnal now so i was also quite surprised when i was kind of having a little look to see how much autumnal homeware stuff is out there that next are actually selling quite a bit and they're already selling it which i thought was quite unusual and early so i know <laughs> i can see they've also got this christmas penguins bedding so they're obviously very far ahead this year i love this duvet set i mean i feel like it is a little bit childish <laughs> but i love it that towel's really sweet as well love that halloween what's that halloween fancy dress party rubber duck set what on earth oh my gosh they're all dressed up that's so weird <laughs> oh i love that mug and apparently, well, if it's called Hello Pumpkin, it probably says it on the inside. Let's have a look. It does look. Do you know what? Now that I've got it fully open, it looks like those pumpkins are like indented into the mug. Don't you think? It looks like they're kind of indented into the mug, not just like painted on. And then, yeah, it says Hello Pumpkin. Oh, love it. Eight pounds for that from the next website. <gasps> look. I shouldn't do this, this is dangerous. <laughs> Look at those pumpkin ramekins! Oh my goodness! I bought some ramekins years ago because I wanted to try making some cheese souffles, which sounds much harder than it is. And to be honest, they're so versatile, I use them for so much. So if you don't have ramekins and you love autumn slash Halloween, buy these! £22 for two is not horrendous. And they are very cute. The only thing is, with the gold tops, I don't know if they can be put in the dishwasher or not. Dishwasher safe, there you go. And, oh no, this is so dangerous. Look, they've got a medium casserole dish that's a white pumpkin for £30. Cute. Right, back to it then. <laughs> Three Halloween ghosts. They look quite small because they're on a desk, aren't they? Oh, I like those. Three monochrome pumpkins. And they're all a bit different, which is nice. Pumpkin serving boards, if you're having a Halloween party, then that could be good. Oh look, scaredy cat, it's got those little cats on it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, come on. Why would you put them on a toilet? I mean, <laughs> where would you put them anyway? They're massive, but... Ugh. So we've already seen the pumpkin ramekins. Black witch's boot bottle holder. A bit different. Oh, I like that bath mat, that's sweet, isn't it? And look, they've got the towel in the background there coasters very nice it says hello pumpkin on the front again and then i think oh no look pumpkin storage basket that's cute i like that i wonder how big it is 
And what's quite good if you look is that they've obviously got other ones down here. So in theory, if you did have another kind of wicker basket out and you wanted to change it to the pumpkin one just to be seasonal, then you could always do that. So it's not very big, 25, 27, 27, and it's 28 pounds. That sounds like quite a lot to me. Oh my gosh, a pumpkin toilet roll cover. Why not? I like that they class this as Halloween just because it's like a burnt orange. Oh look, is that an ornament? Yeah, £24. But again, that looks quite small. And look, can you see they've got two of the monochrome ones in the background? Good advertising next. Oh, that tablecloth, that's lovely. If you've got kids who really like Halloween or, you know, change of season, then that would be great for them. I say, I mean, it'd be great for anybody, but when I see wipe clean tablecloths, I think of children because when I was younger, we had wipe clean tablecloths because I'm messy, basically. Oh, look, a pumpkin teapot. Do you know what? That looks like something out of Harry Potter, don't you think? I've just got an image in my head of Professor Sprout pouring tea out of that teapot. <laughs> got another Halloween gonk, not gronk, Sophie. Oh, look, another Hello Pumpkin mug. That's really sweet. Again, I don't know if that could be put in the dishwasher because of the handle. So, you know, we saw apple salt and pepper shakers on TK Maxx. Well, here at Next, they've got pumpkins and it comes in a little tray as well, which I think is quite sweet. £15. I can't remember how much the TK Maxx ones were, but I think this is a little bit more expensive, but you get the tray as well. Oh look, there's another monochrome pumpkin, and you can actually see the two from the other set over here as well. And I like that cushion. French knot pumpkin cushion. Ooh! Two lidded, I'm guessing that's dishes. How nice are they? £22 for two. I like that they're matte as well. Oh look, <laughs> again this would be good for kids. Clear tumblers with ghosts on them. They look especially good with the red liquid like Ribena or whatever it is, don't they? Do you see what I mean? That Next has so much stuff and I was really surprised by it. They obviously are jumping on the trend. So we've got this spooky wreath. <laughs> I hope you appreciated that. that. White pumpkin hanging decoration. Okay. Pumpkin and ginger three wick pillar candle. Oh, I'm a sucker for a candle. That sounds good. Oh, hot chocolate bombs. Look, they come in that box. Oh, that's, again, if you've got kids, that'd be brilliant for them. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's just the baubles that you get. 16 piece though, for six pounds. That seems pretty decent to me. And then there's another hanging decoration there. I'm starting to think I might get a Halloween tree, you know. Or I might get the Christmas tree out and just decorate it for Halloween and then decorate it again for Christmas. <laughs> if I had the space to have that tree up for Halloween as well, I definitely would, but it's, there's just not enough space in this house. Pumpkin and ginger pot pourri. I like a bit of pot pourri. Anything that smells good is a win as far as I'm concerned. What is this? Family mum mug. Oh, so they've got like mum, dad and baby, I guess. Let's have a look. But before we go into that, just quickly, Halloween marshmallows. <laughs> Love that. Here we go. Pumpkin family mug. Surely it's not £6 for three mugs. Doesn't say. But there are three different mugs there. I have also quickly come on to the George slash Asda website because they've usually got loads of really gorgeous fashionable homeware. But I can see I've searched for autumn and they've only got eight things. So they've got this lovely Hello Autumn cushion. And then there's just some bedding and then a woodwick candle there autumn leaves they have got some halloween stuff as you can see so it, 54 items and a lot of it is just oh look at those duvet sets <laughs> and they're double so they're obviously for adults but a lot of this does look like it's just children's stuff i really like these these pajamas i mean they must be children's surely um but they must be from last year because they're out of stock pumpkin bath mat Oh, Halloween dogs. Oh my goodness, that is a bit of me. Oh, the little sausage dogs. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to scroll past that very quickly. Oh, I love that. It's, oh, it's, is it flat? Oh, it is, oh, I thought it was 3D. That's a shame. I like this one as well, though. <laughs> Look at those pumpkins and the ghosts. Uh, what this video has taught me is that I'm a sucker for a pumpkin. Oh my gosh, look, boo crew. 
So I think we'll end it there because I can see that I've been filming for about half an hour now and I don't want this video to be super long. It's just kind of a taster of the autumn homeware that's out at the moment. Obviously as we get into September I imagine there'll be much more so make sure you keep an eye out on your local stores and on the various websites. I mentioned my travel essentials video earlier and if you haven't seen that and you want to go and see it to see what I was talking about with the ribbon and everything then make sure you press here. And if you want to see my most recent haul video, which was a £97 boots order that I did, then make sure you press here. I'm going to be doing a video on all the new Halloween merchandise that Disney are bringing out as well. So if you want to see that, then make sure you subscribe. And all that's left to say is thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!